Hi, my name is Keith, and in this short overview video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to properly maintain this X15B machine to keep it properly running, to minimize the cost or the need to send a service tech. Okay, so the tank on top is your recovery tank. Now the first thing you can check on this guy is your tank lid to screw it off, and then check it out. Make sure there's no cracks or anything like that, but then if you notice right around in here, there's a tank lid gasket too. So you wanna check that as well and make sure there's no uh, worn out parts or it's damaged or anything. So underneath the machine, you have brush or pad driver. We have a brush right here. You also have your squeegee assembly. You have your solenoid and your solenoid hoses. Now underneath your pad driver or brush, this is where your brush hub is. Now you have a belt that you wanna check and maintain. Make sure it's properly lubricated and uh, it's not cracked or worn. And then at this point in time, you can kind of go through your squeegee blades here and make sure they're not damaged or worn out and need replaced. Okay, so this bottom blue tank is your solution tank. Right here is your solution filter. You wanna make sure this is clean and free of debris. Now, what you wanna do with your solution tank, it's always a good idea after each use, if you're using chemicals or anything like that, to rinse it out. So you've got a drain, you unplug your drain, you put your hose in here, and you just rinse it out with warm water. So as I mentioned before on your solution tank, right here is the drain cap. Now you wanna make sure that this is not cracked and it's sealed properly, or you know, you're gonna get leaks or anything. Okay, so on the back side, there's a little red tab right here on top of your recovery tank. Now that latch and tab, just switch over to the side. It allows you to lift your recovery tank out so you can drain it or clean it. So when you remove your recovery tank, underneath is your battery compartment. Now, you wanna to check to make sure that your cables are good and tight and they are free of corrosion. Another thing are your two suction hoses. Make sure that the gaskets on top of them are not worn or damaged in any way. Okay, so inside your recovery tank, now we already took the lid off and checked the gasket and checked the lid, but inside the recovery tank, a few things you wanna check on a daily basis. You got a ball float right here. You wanna make sure that that's clean and free of debris as well. So on the back side of the handle right here, this is where your squeegee lowering and raising mechanism is. Now on this handle, you wanna make sure that it's easily moved down and up. You wanna check the uh, squeegee cable here to make sure that the cable is not frayed in any way. Sometimes these guys like to get frayed. Okay, on the top part of the handle here, this is where your control panel is. Now you have your power button, which is your on and off button. You have your brush on and off button. You have your back on and off button and you have your solution on and off button. Now you just want to check on those and make sure they're all working and, and properly functioning. Okay, up here in your handle, this lever right here, this is the lever that allows your handle to move up and down to a comfortable level. You want to make sure that this is not broken. Now right above it is your trigger. Now once your machine is on, this trigger activates the brushes and everything, you wanna make sure that those are not broken as well. And that about covers everything for this machine. Once again, my name is Keith. For all the parts listed in today's video, plus thousands of diagrams and how-to repair guides, be sure to click the link in the description below or visit us on the web at usaclean.com. Stay safe and thanks for watching.